uh, are we talking about the actor strike now? Yeah. Let's talk about the actor strike and why you don't support unions. So, Will <laughs> thought this was going to be the main topic. I and, did. And I said, no one cares about this. <laughs> Obviously, people care about yes. it. Yes. Obviously, this is a big deal, important thing. Yes. But as a YouTube title and thumbnail... <laughs> I don't think anybody's clicking on this. Is what I mean. Uh, it is like about like a few days late, so I don't know if like the still. Yeah. I don't think yeah. anybody's gonna be like, "Oh, I want to hear about the actor strike." I want to you know? hear what two losers from Long Island want to say about the actor strike. So the best thing to do is to bait everybody into hearing about the yes. actor strike. So here you go. All right, uh, Hollywood video game performers announced that they would go on strike on Thursday. Uh, throwing part of the entertainment industry into another work stoppage after talks uh, after talks for a new contract with major game studios broke down over mm. artificial intelligence protections. He, Bob's already bored of this. Um, the strike AI. And yeah. that was it for the strike, the second for video game voice actors and motion capture performances under the uh, SAG AFSTRA uh, will begin on. It will begin at 12.01 a.m. Friday. So it's already begun. Uh, the move comes after nearly two years of negotiations with gaming giants, including divisions of Activision, Warner Brothers, and uh, Walt Disney, uh, over new interactive media agreements. Uh, SAG after negotiators say gains have been made over wages and job safety in the video game contracts, but that the two sides remain split over the regulation of generative AI. A spokesperson for the video game for the video game producers, uh, Audrey Cooling said the studio the studio is offering AI protections, uh, but SAG AFTRA's negotiating committee said that the studio's definition of who the, uh, of who constitutes a performer is key to understanding the issue of who would be protected. Uh, the industry has told us point blank that they do not necessarily consider everyone who is rendering movement performance to be a performer that is covered by the collective bargaining agreement. SAG AFSTRA Chief Contacts Officer Ray Rodriguez said in a news conference Thursday afternoon. He said some physical performances are being treated as data. Uh, without guardrails, uh, game companies could train AI to replicate the, an actor's voice or create a digital replica of their likeness without consent or fair compensation, the union said. Uh, we strike as a matter of last resort. We have given this process absolutely as much time as we possibly can, uh, Rodriguez told reporters. Um, we have exhausted the other possibilities, and that is why we are doing it now. Cooling said that the company's offers uh, extends a meaningful AI protections. We are disappointed the union has chosen to walk away when we were so close to a deal and we remain prepared to resume negotiations, she said. Andy Norris, an actor and member of the union's negotiating committee, said that those who do stunt work or creative performances would still be at risk uh, under the game company's offer. Uh, the performers who bring their body of work to these games create a wholly create a whole variety of characters and all of that work uh, must be covered their proposal would carve out anything that does not look or sound identical to me as i sit here when in truth uh on any given week i am a zombie i am a soldier i am a zombie soldier norris said uh we cannot and will not accept that a stunt or movement performer giving a full performance on a stage next to a voice actor isn't a performer uh, the global video game industry generates uh, well over $100 billion in profit annually, according to game market forecaster Nuzu. Uh, the people who design and bring those games to life are the driving force behind these successes, uh, SAG Astra said. Members voted overwhelmingly last year to give leadership the authority to strike. Concerns about the movie studio, concerns about how movie studios will use AI help fuel last year's film and television strikes by the union, which lasted four months. The last interactive contract, which expired in November 2022, did not provide protections around AI, but, but secured a bonus compensation structure for voice actors and performers, uh, performance capture artists, uh, after an 11-month strike that began in October 2016. That work stoppage marked the first major labor action from SAG-AFTRA following the merger of Hollywood's two largest actors' unions in 2012. The video game agreement covers more than 2,500 off-camera voiceover performers, on-camera motion capture and stunt performers, stunt coordinators, singers, dancers, puppeteers, and background performers. Um, amid the tension, amid, amid the tense interactive negotiations, SAC AFSHA created a separate contract in February that covered independent and lower budget video game projects. The tiered budget, uh, 
The tiered budget independent interactive agreement contains some of the protections on AI that the video game industry titans have rejected. Games signed an interim interactive media agreement, tiered budget independence. Ah, what happened? I lost it. Oh, no. I am currently looking up uh, some TikTok that I saw. Yes. I think it's by Joe Zieja, uh -huh. who uh, he worked on some Persona games, it looks like. Yeah. Um, There was a case where he heard a clip. They, they, I think they, I, it might have been one of the Persona games where they, they like Persona Three Reloaded. Yeah. Um. There was a clip of a of a thing that he did not say. Uh, and he was like, "Hey, I didn't say this." And yeah. they were like, "Oh, yeah, we just figured it would be too much to call you in, so we just used AI to like redo it." Yeah. And obviously, that's like not cool. That's because, like yeah, because you get paid to do the. Yeah. voice work you know? i mean that's what that that's what this whole thing is about yeah. you know like the the actors come in they say all of their dialogue you know and then you know for additional work or possibly even like a sequel rather than calling the actors back in they just hit some keys and fart out like new dialogue yeah or it's... even now, now too with like the motion capture performers like they could take their work and like manipulate it through ai to like do in other games that they're not you know yeah I sign mean, up for there's been protections for things like this before like like when when apple got a voice for siri like they had to have a licensing agreement like we're gonna use this forever mm -hmm. you know uh and that the voice actress who did that was under the impression that all the work i'm gonna do now is gonna be apples forever you right. know? uh people who do motion capture work they have to there has to be agreements in there like we if if it's for like Naughty Dog, like mm -hmm. we can use this for future games, you well, know, and then that's more money, right? But like yeah. they have to be properly compensated for yeah. it. That's the thing. Like, you know, the higher ups think that just using AI, you know, means that they don't have to now compensate the performers yeah. for their work because you know you did the work already, and now the machine is doing the work for the future. Yeah, and we've again we've done we've had cases like this in the past and, and and there there have been provisions put in place to protect people like this just because it's ai doesn't mean you can skirt around well, those same protections now they're trying are, to skirt around it exactly. because it's ai because it's a yeah. new technology it's different from what they used to do what they used to do is just like have it on a database and just use it again you know yeah but i'm i'm saying that it's the same provisions. It's just they're skirting around it by calling it something different. Right. But it's it's the it's the same as just taking someone's likeness and using it again. Yeah. Taking someone's work from a different project and using it again on another project. It's like you gotta pay a licensing if there's if there are licensing provisions in the contract, you gotta pay the licensing no matter how many yeah. times you use it. Especially if you're copying someone's voice. Like yeah. it's very obvious you're using someone's voice in a new game. Yeah. You know? So uh yeah, I'm glad that companies are getting uh, uh, kind of older for that. Yeah, the companies need to uh, have a provision in the contract and say, "Hey, uh, we want to be able to use AI in the future if you're not around or something." Right, and then that means more money for the voice or actor or actors who's they doing should it. just they shouldn't even have to do that because at least in terms of voice acting, like. I'm not saying voice acting is easy, but in terms <laughs> of like getting an actor to record yeah. dialogue in a booth for 20 minutes, it's like that, that is easier to do than having to fly them out to like location and film something there. You can, you know, most voice actors have equipment in their home that they can do, like, do something quick and send it over. A lot of like modern technology is good enough where you can record dialogue over a Zoom meeting and use it you know in a game so and that's how they do it mostly now yeah they do it over zoom fucking like you know on bluey the mom and the dad ha have never met they live in different states in australia and they recorded separately <laughs> and then they just mash them together and it makes the best show on television <laughs> so like it's possible to get dialogue done you know regardless of how many miles apart people are uh, I I think that it's inevitable that AI has a has a hand in it because uh, 
you look at something like the finals where the announcer yeah. is uh partially or a, a lot of it is ai because there's things that are happening in the multiplayer game that uh they need to announce on the fly right. so they need a script to do that i don't think that that's uh that egregious but the voice actor needs to know they are voicing a character that will be used for ai because their voice is going to be used on a much broader scale than what they initially recorded i think the problem that's a completely different compensation i think the problem is you know what happened with the finals it sets a bad precedent you know, yes, you can use it for a game that like has a lot of things happening on the fly and it needs to like the, the the dial needs to adjust accordingly. But like you can then take that same principle and apply it to like Uncharted, where you just get Nolan North to record like the, the cutscene dialogue and then like for the, you know, the interstitial gameplay, then that's all AI because it can adjust to him like bouncing off a wall or picking something well, up. And... They would have to tell him we're going to use AI for part of your, your thing, but, and he would need to be compensated for it. Well, I can also see him not wanting to do it because, yeah, and, then, and then he gets to say, I'm not going to be in this game. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, that's a big deal. Cause Nolan North is Nathan Drake. I know he would, ha he would be able to put a foot yeah. down and be like, I don't want to do this. Yeah. I, I get, I understand AI as a tool in certain aspects. Uh, like for example, how is Apple going to get a new Siri voice? Like they, yeah. they have to pay somebody to mm -hmm. at least program the AI with a voice to train yeah. it and stuff. So uh, there is a, 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 an area for, for that where it makes sense. Yeah. But right now, companies are using it in a nefarious way to skirt around paying people. And it, yeah. this is just a new provision on top of licensing. Yeah. Like if someone wants to use my footage in a TV commercial... I get more money, right. you know, it, it, that's just, you, you're using it out of the scope that was originally planned. Right. If you're going to use my voice in your AI game, I want more money because right. it's outside of the scope than I originally planned. It's, it's new technologies and it's scary and we got to figure it out. But yeah, the hardest thing is figuring it out with our governing bodies because they don't know fucking anything <laughs> about any new technology. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, what's this? Uh, some games are not affected by the strike. No. Uh, according to SAG Astra, uh, says all members who want to show solidarity with the union can elect uh, voluntarily not to work, uh, imitating that it believes uh, the strike could be more disruptive than previously suspected and impact non struck games. Members who want to show solidarity with the union can elect voluntarily not to work on these titles, SAG Astra's chief contact officer, uh, Ray Rodriguez, um, said. Uh, and we know that many of our members are going to become unavailable to work on those. Uh, so while non-struck games like GTA 6 may not be subject to a strike in a technical sense, their production is also subject to being disrupted by members who do not want to work without the protection of AI terms and who uh, don't want to undermine solidarity with the union. So some games of, I, I don't, I forgot what the specifics are, but I think some games that are like already in development or have like, you know, provisions in place already um, are exempt from, you know, the strike they the actors can continue to work on them um i don't you know i think you know they're striking with specific companies and i, and I, I know take two is one of them but i don't think rockstar is yeah it, it keeps saying that grand theft auto 6 is not affected yeah which is crazy i yeah. don't know this that, that doesn't make any sense to me uh their production is also subject to being disputed by members who don't want to work without the protection of AI. So they're like, they can. Yeah. It's like you're, you can strike if you want. Yeah. You don't have to. That's Which so is, weird. It's just very weird. Cause like with the actor strike, it was like, and the writer strike it was like hard line, you know, pencils down. So walk off the set. Yeah. The, the actor strike started right before the Oppenheimer premiere and all the actors went home. It kind of sounds like they just don't want to strike gta 6 this is such a big deal i'm trying to see if there are any other games that are not affected because 
I, I think they're just saying GTA 6 because it's the biggest thing. Yeah. But uh, I think that it just sounds like they don't have to strike if they don't want to strike. Which... Games that began production before August 2023 will not be included in the strike according to the terms. That means that GTA 6 is a non-struck game. Non-struck titles may still be indirectly affected by the strike, however. Also, like, that's, like, before AI was, like... Yeah. Uh, they, they signed their contracts before AI needed uh, or would have any provisions. Yeah. But that's kind of stupid too because ai needs to be added to the contract yeah not the other way around is we're not under the assumption that you're allowed to use ai for my voice we're on the the ai needs to be added to the contract yeah because it shouldn't hold up in court like if i didn't sign to say that my voice could be used at, to train ai then yeah you can't do that you know well that's the thing they don't want to use their voices to train AI because that means for future games, they don't need them. They just need the yeah. AI. Yeah. And they're not going to pay you because you're not doing the work. The AI is doing the work. Yeah. You know, the guy who's programming the AI is doing the work. Yeah. I think yeah. that legally that should fall under the using your likeness. I mean, legally, provision. yes. Yeah. But as of right now, it doesn't. No, I think it, sh I think it should. I, I think it hasn't been, uh, uh, fought in court right as hard as uh, there's no like president right now but well I, I th there was a court case that said that uh ai generated work cannot be copyrighted because a human did not write it that, yeah so. yeah that that makes sense they, yeah. we're gonna have a lot of presidents go, going yeah forward. but i like to think of the uh the the court case with the uh, back to the future back to the future too we've yeah. talked about this um they just use his likeness, the dad. They just used his yeah. likeness. And like obviously you can't do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's AI would be similar. Like yeah. you can't just have me in the first game and then not pay me for the second game, but put me in the second game anyway. You can't do that. Yeah. 